Hey, so what's going on guys? Make here with Drug the Reviews and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I got something really special because I will be revealing the brand new project car for the channel. So right now, they're actually sorting out the inspection and all the fine details and then I will go over and get the car transferred over to my name. So once we have done all that, then I will do the grand review. So do stick around. All right guys, so finally, we're at home and I brought the car back. So without further ado, let's review the new project car for DTR right now. guys so believe it or not i've actually been looking for a cifero a31 for a while now but this one's unique because it doesn't have the rb20 this has the rb25 uh, taken from the r34 and along with that it's also mated to an rb20 gearbox which means that it delivers uh, the most power from what I heard from many people who have been using this car. So the day that I actually brought it back, I ran into some issues. I had a leaking power steering and I also had an oil filter adapter which was leaking. So I took a couple of days to actually get those two things fixed because I do not want to ruin my power steering. So I had the power steering refurbished and also remove the adapter for the oil filter. So yeah, it's things that you have to do, have to prepare money for when you're buying a second-hand car. But overall, the car actually, it's pretty good. I mean, if you compare with many other Cifero A31s out there, I believe this is uh, actually very well taken care of, especially when it comes to the engine and gearbox. The owner has spent a great deal of money actually keeping this well-maintained. Oil changes, spark plug changes, and basically servicing in general. Even the engine has all of its seals and gaskets replaced so i do not have to worry about a leaking engine or a leaking gearbox for the matter so i also did the limited slip differential because this has a semi-lock limited slip differential on the rear so i changed the oil because i believe it hasn't been changed before so let's take a quick look around the car so it has a 18 inch wheel staggered so these are the rota ones so the front is i believe 9.5 g and the rear is 10.5 so the front i'm running on uh, 235 40 18 and the back is 245 40 18 so you can see my circle right there as well uh, i did get rid of my civic so i'll be talking about that maybe in a future video but for now let's just focus on the beauty of this 1993 cifero a31 so I will bring you in for a tour later on but uh, let's take a look at the back you can see it has blast pipes as well overall the bodywork seems good take a quick look around the side so these are JS Racing blast pipes because this is uh, totally straight pipe from the front to the rear so overall very nice condition uh, I still have some things to do like the coilovers because these are running on Apex C coilovers from Japan so these are serviceable because they are the original ones uh, I believe three of them are blown so I do have to get them serviced and the reason I'm doing this review at home is because I do not have my road tax and my insurance as well Alright guys so before I bring you guys for the start of the show which is the engine let me bring you guys for the inside tour so yes yeah, definitely sounds like an old car so inside we do have a pretty worn steering which I do have to change I do have to get it re-wrapped We do have a R32 Skyline dashboard I believe and So the whole center console on the dashboard is from a R32 That's why it doesn't fit with the door panels that well you can see from the side And we have R32 seats as well which needs to be 
repacked of course the other one is really really nice condition I do have a baby seat there because I do bring my kid around <laughs> he likes the sound of this car so this is a manual gearbox of course five-speed manual and basically overall the interior is I should say satisfactory it's still usable uh, because I of course do need to do the steering and a bit of the center console because this is actually broken as you can see not sure what happened but the previous owner broke it or something like that so I do have to get a replacement which is pretty hard to find in Malaysia in fact I've been searching and the previous owner has been searching but uh, yeah no luck with that okay so anyways uh, let's pop the hood you can see pretty old school stuff all right guys so we have the star of the show the rb25 i know this is not the cleanest engine bay i not really clean to my eyes because i am pretty ocd with my engine base and i think that this is uh pretty dirty in my opinion but anyway we're going to have this rebuilt in the time to come in the future so i have uh, big plans on this engine because this engine is actually a very good engine that's the reason i chose the rb25 so you can see there's some things that need to be fixed like this big hole right here and of course i need to get a real intercooler because the original intercooler is right there and it's pretty small so you can see these are the intercooler piping which the previous owner has actually replaced i just serviced the blow off valve and the intake uh two days back so just to make sure they are optimum for like general daily use and i don't really daily this car anyways but anyways you can see the engine overall you can see there's a works fuel regulator i believe right there so overall the engine bay is it just works basically it's not the nicest engine bay uh the radiator is stock uh basically it's a stock engine with uh, no piggyback no uh, standalone is basically a stock engine running a stock tune so i do not have to really worry because stock engines are pretty much bulletproof i should say so of course the owner did have the battery rerouted to the back with uh, good wiring good cables so thick, thick ones i heard from the workshop that uh, he did it in so that is uh, pretty much peace of mind for me because i do not want my car catching on fire in the middle of driving it so all very nice uh, I do have uh, plans for the hood for the fenders as well of course you can see where uh, the paint is not so nice the bumper is cracked as well I'm not sure whether you can see this it's a big hole because scrap the bum or something like that but uh, all these are replaceable these are cosmetic stuff which can be replaced very cheap uh, I mean the bumper is only like 300 ringgit the um, fenders you can get like a couple hundred and get the hood as well so not to worry about that but important thing for me is the mechanical part which has been already settled by the previous owner so yes definitely you're going to be seeing a lot of this and also i know you guys want to see the sound clips on this car i'll definitely be doing some me of me ripping with the rb25 uh, later on uh, future videos but for now i still still need to like fix my coilovers and get them serviced and they say I got new tires as well because the old ones were on their way out. So that's about it for what I did, and I spent about a thousand ringgit, almost a thousand ringgit, on the first couple of days I owned this. Uh, of course, before this video, I did want to do some shooting before I actually do up the whole car completely. So I just want to have a before and after look. All right, so this has been a very quick look of the new project car for the channel. So. This has been a dream come true because I never thought I would be able to like afford to buy more of this but thanks to you guys supporting the channel we're able to have a second project car. The Sirocco however on the other hand is uh, temporarily suspended in terms of like the mods and stuff. I do want to change coilovers though uh, hopefully soon for the Sirocco but I'm going to get the coilover service for the Cifero first. So this has been a pretty quick video of uh, the Cifero A31. I have really really big plans and I hope to be using this in the years to come so do support the channel do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and i'll see you guys in the next one